Hi, welcome back to Lingua Memes. Hi there. Um, hello, Todd. Hi, Danny. Good afternoon. Good afternoon. Or, you know, wherever you are. Yeah, I'm not in my caravan today. <laughs> oh, no, I couldn't get my laptop working. So I'm I'm back in the boring house. Back to bricks and mortar. Yeah. But today we're looking at Spanish. Now, why are we doing that? Neither of us is fluent in Spanish. I not know. even remotely. So it's it's a ridiculous idea, isn't it? It really is. Two people who don't speak Spanish. But this is almost the point of lingua memes. And yeah. Fact, all language learning methodology. Yeah, so we don't have a smug linguist going on about how wrong we are. Oh, I can't stand those smug linguists. You're one of them, Todd. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> Very, how perceptive of you, a word that has its roots in. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Well, yeah, but you're, you're Japanese and um, Portuguese. Oh, yeah. And the like Portuguese. That. Bit of German, yeah, but right now, Spanish, not really that similar to Portuguese, in, in my opinion. Right, There's that, common roots, but this is, this is a whole new world for me. You're getting your excuses in first. Yeah, I feel that's the best time to do it. <laughs> All right, so... What we're looking at here is one of the many Lingua Memes games, as we call them, and this one's called the Sentence Builder. And you can In which? build you can build your own sentences, and you, mm. you the viewer, listener, can try this for yourself. It's very easy to do so. You just go to linguamemes.com. There's the web address. I'm pointing to it at the top. Linguamemes.com, and you put in a game code in which this particular one is C zero S A lowercase letters lowercase letters C zero S A and then your email address click submit and you'll be sent a link in your email to play this particular game which is a sentence builder game okay so now this is fun because I've got absolutely no idea what I'm doing with, with yeah. this We've got so some let's build a sentence. Let's build a sentence. Okay, we've got s these are starting words, mm. and we can now. see what what they mean by. Come on, please hover over. Why is that not working? Give everything a hover. Usually, hovering over the I button. There you go. We'll yeah. show you the literal translation. Okay, I'm not going to try and pronounce this word yet because we're going to get um, our Auntie Google to do that for mm -hmm. us to do the uh... no I won't, I won't embarrass myself either but I'm guessing that the first me there at least is a personal pronoun of some sort so that yeah. gives us a good start I give, I get up mm, I'm not going to say it but the left <laughs> is, is uh, Kind of similar to the French, isn't it? Oh, should, well, should we be talking? We shouldn't really be talking about French, but um, oh, well, let's talk about English. You can levitate, see the shed, levitate there. Yeah, yeah. Yes. yeah. Do you do any levitating? Uh, not knowingly. Yeah, but if it ever happens to me, I I trust those around me to let me know. You'll get onto Britain's Got Talent, won't you? Uh, yeah, in an ideal world. Um, these top two though have me a bit confused. What they've got to be okay. All right, I know yeah. they are all personal. Okay, right. Okay, uh, and uh, our um, our linguist has put in some kind of code in there, hasn't he? Sort of literal translation equals go one ps. What's one ps? Yes, let's not write any angry letters. Perhaps it's the uh, you know it's like the ancient way they would translate Sumerian tablets or something. It's a, it's a numerical system. Yeah, that we're but not you, you, you know what it really is, though, don't you? First I person do. singular. I do. Yeah, don't worry. Yeah, I'm very, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So um, vivo. Oh, I did vivo, it. I vivo. Oh, yeah. Vivo. Let, no. That's I another one. Live. PS. First person. I live. Right. Well, that's easy. Vivo. All right. Okay. I'm, because we're learning Spanish, right? I thought we'd, trying we'd try a prendo. I have been learning. Oh, yeah. apprentice. Oh, like, apprentice, yeah. right. Yeah, well then. Mm. Got, yeah, nice one. Actually, that's, <laughs> that's, a, that's a really good way of learning that word, isn't it? Apprentice, yeah. I'm trying, well, this is flipping, I'm trying to earn my salt here, yeah. Um, You're the sorcerer then. of languages. 
Yes. Merlin of words. I'm, Let's I'm, have a prendo then. I'm just riffing with the apprentice kind of thing. You know, sorcerer's apprentice. Oh, right. Yeah, no, I didn't even think of that. All right. No. Good one. <laughs> Aprendo. Oh, I'm not going to say it because it might be wrong. Aprendo. Yeah. Especially not in a cod Spanish accent. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> all right, now hang on. Here we go. This 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 should be easy for uh, all yeah. the budding linguists out there. If you're taking GCSE Spanish, level anything, French, probably. English. Come on, hang on, German. Yeah, come on. Now, why is it? I don't know why it's Alemán or however that's pronounced. But of course, in French, German is l'allemand. Yeah, I think we should stop talking about French. I know. So we just—it's the core. It's the start okay. of language games. The... So let's build our sentence. I'm that learning. One, that one. Spanish. That one. See, it takes form at the top. You just—he's just clicking through. I right. So he's complete... created a sentence here, folks. I've, got, I've created a sentence. Absolutely... I don't know what it no means. No idea what it means. No. No, idea. not even the foggiest. Apart from this one, which is I have been learning. Okay. Learning shall Spanish. we? Shall we hear what? How this is actually said Please. by Auntie Google. Please let's. Here she comes. Aprendo español desde hace dos semanas. And if I press it again, it'll do it slowly. Aprendo español desde hace dos semanas. How do you discover that? Did you hear that, Todd? Yes, just. How did how did you discover the slow? Is that do you think that's been purposefully implemented? Yeah, yeah, sure it is. Of course it is. Yeah. yeah. Right. Okay. Right. Good stuff. Aprendo español desde hace dos semanas. Aprendo. Aprendo español, español desde hace dos semanas. Desde hace dos semanas. Aprendo okay. español desde hace dos semanas. I've been learning Spanish for two somethings. R no? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Come on, help me out, because I don't. I have no idea what this means. Let's find out what it means. Right. Okay. Can you see the black screen again? Indeed. Right. I've been learning. Spanish for oh. two weeks. Yes. Two weeks. So dos is two. Yeah. We we are li we are literally newbies to s to Spanish, aren't we? Yeah. Sorry. Mm -hmm. Okay. But we're getting to grips with the sentence in a way that you wouldn't normally find just by the fact that we're doing it ourselves. We're making it ourselves. All oh, right. I accidentally found a way of um, having one particular word read out. I'll do that again. So I'll click on dos semanas. The creator of Lingua Memes discovering new things. Listen, this is, this is what it says on the screen. Listen. Dos semanas. Dos semanas. That's how it sounded to me. I might be sli I might be slightly wrong. Dos semanas. All right, that was exciting, wasn't it? Yeah. Good stuff. He sounded like Scooby Doo when he said that. Well, much like Scooby Doo, I enjoy the odd snack, and if some mystery is being solved, I'm probably in the kitchen. Yeah. So, but I'm the one with the van. I, th <laughs> I think that was Fred. I think it was Fred's van. I seem to. I don't know. I feel like he drove it. I miss my I van. Know. I was in. I was. I was working in my van until you were. it all went wrong. In the mystery machine, and now you're in the misery machine. <laughs> yeah. So, is that is that all the Spanish we're doing? I want to do more Spanish now. Well. You can hear it on your side, Todd. If you if you go to that page that you were talking about earlier, then you can hear the sound of this Spanish lady's voice. I can indeed. But I want to. I want to make some. I want to make some more sentences. I don't just want to be listening okay. by myself. All right. Well, what we can do with this sentence is we have the option to be able to type this in ourselves from memory. Yeah. Oh, crikey. Oh, aprendo español desde Right, to do that, I click the type in button. Oh my goodness, he's taking such a risk here, folks. He doesn't even know how to do the... What's it even called? What's what called? The, the wiggly line over the N. See, I don't even know the words. The Spanish umlaut. I don't know how to say it, but I know how to type it. Okay. Right, I'm, showing, oh, I'm having one last look at this sentence before I have another go. Right. All right, it's all right. It's showing Thank it in you know. a different format now. No? You're looking at this as well, so you can help me out, can't you? I'm looking. Yeah. I'm looking. 
It's pretty. Right. It's it's very close to English sentence structure. So, okay. I'm typing this out as best I can. Yeah. Mm. E S P A, and then that's the N thing. Now to get the funny N, I say funny. How? <laughs> yeah, that's that's how rude. That's very rude. Right. We've got a symbol here, this N, and we do that with the open square bracket. Now that's going to be just as weird to most people as anyone else who's who's used an open square bracket before. Well, it's next to letter P on on your keyboard if you have a fairly normal keyboard. There you go. P. Hey. What was the next word? Now what after that it? rigmarole, we've completely forgot. A printer spaniel is is des no. Oh, we're stuck. I can't believe it. Was it Hase? Hase deste dos semanos. Des oh, I'm stuck. Deste. Deste. Mm, deste has dos yeah. What was it? Can you see it? See. E. Dos. Semanos. Semanos. Seman. Right? Semanas? Semanas. Semanas. Nice. Whew, that's tough. And there's going to be a lot of linguists thinking this is a completely insane method of le learning languages. Yeah, and they're all going to blame you for when they get semanas with it, when they try and put an O after the N. Yeah, and they're going to be eating their words in humble pie when I'm telling them <laughs> off <in> Spanish <laughs> fluently. Oh, I love it. I love rebutting it. their points. Now, well, it says press return on the keyboard to continue, so I'm going to do that. Well done. There we Back go. We can continue to a congratulatory screen. I feel like there should <sighs> be some artwork there, but right, well, that was wonderful, and that was just one of literally lots of branches that could possibly come off of this. Many, many branches. Should we do another hmm. apprendo? Yeah, please. Let's learn something else. Let's see how different we can get it. Let's do English. Uh, right. Let's try and learn English. Uh, oh, hang on. This is looking that's... pretty similar. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I don't want to venture out of my comfort zone now. That I, right. okay, shall we hear the, how that's said? Okay. Of course, the further back you start branching on lingua memes, the more variant sentences you'll get. Aprendo inglés desde hace dos semanas. I'm not sure if I like the sound of the the voice of this person on the other end. I think uh, <laughs> I think Auntie Google might have hired someone who'd uh, don't like her. Is it? I mean, wouldn't it have been nice to have? Uh, She's the out there somewhere, you know. She could be watching this. It would have been nice to have the voice of Montserrat Caballé on there. Yeah, yeah. That would have been nice. Yeah. She's Susan Romero, international Latin star. Yeah, but unfortunately. We are stuck with a lady. But she's got a really beautiful voice, and um, whenever, you, whenever you hear her talking, and normally what I hear her when she's talking about Freddie Mercury because of their <laughs> Bar Barcelona album. Yeah, she's got a beautiful voice. It's sort of very soft, but somehow powerful. Well, she could sing the sentences. Alas, we are not privy to the inner workings of Google. We cannot tell them what to do because they are busy using their indoor office swimming pools and ball parks or whatever the heck Google have in their offices. Well, this, they ain't going to listen to us. This Auntie Google has hired someone to, to me. sounds like I've had a few, a few too many cigarettes here. <laughs> oh, come on. Now, 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 now people like that voice. Do they? I think. Have yeah. You got, have cool. you got any evidence of that? Yes, uh, my friend from uni uh, prefers uh, a husky voice lady if he was given the, the choice, which he often isn't. Okay. There's nothing wrong with a husky voice. So we've heard that. We won't type that one in again. So yes, let's try and diversify a little. Okay, you choose, you choose a word to start off with. Right. I would like to start with the much less leading voy. And I'm going to go right out there and just say it. I've got that much confidence in myself as a linguist. Hmm, okay. Now I think I can figure out what these are without peeking. Voy is I go. I, I go. think gimnasio is the gym. One out of I one. I think la playa is the beach. 
Ooh, Cine. Two out of two. Cinema. Three out of three. Biblioteca, of course, the library. Bam. So I know what they mean, but the back, interesting thing back about of the this, net. <laughs> the interesting thing about this is where it can take me. So I'm yeah. thinking of potential Get options. Them. And I think the cinema will be the most interesting. So I'd like to avoid our cine, please. I don't even know Spanish for please. This is terrible. That's GCSE level Spanish. <laughs> never it never came into my word world. Are you gonna Ooh, guess okay, what no, these are you gonna guess what these mean as well? I'm completely lost. Um, All right, let's take the first one. Every day, yeah. every, every day. Saturday, okay. I'm every Friday, the... occasionally. Okay, right. I'm going to go with the. Let's go with the complete lie. I don't, can anyone afford to go to the cinema every day? Let's do that. Let's go to the cinema. Todos los días. And then once we've got the full sentence, I can work on my pronunciation. Oh, oh that was easy. All right. I thought I might get the option to choose what film I'd seen. So uh, if, mostly if, someone if you did that on your computer now, then you can you can press the speaker and, and listen to the delightful tones of our Auntie Googles. Yeah, okay. Spanish so let's, sister. Let's put her on at the same time. <laughs> You're really backpedaling. You even salted her voice. You're really backpedaling now. So, um, there I'm we go. I'm going to click on it in three, a one, a two, a three, a click. Voy al cine todos los días. Ah, now she says it real smooth for me. Voy she does have a husky voice. It's true, but I think she sounds like she really knows what she's saying. I I don't question <laughs> I don't Take question that she knows it. Just no, I like I like the I like the authority. Actually, it's growing on me. It's growing on me. <laughs> I'm beginning. Voy al cine todos los días. Now, see, I click on it a second time, and it does. You're right. It slows it down, and it kind of draws it out almost comically, but it's helpful because you can get the hang of some of the trickier Voy vowel sounds. Because I mean, that, that I at the end in Diaz, that isn't just Diaz, it's like Diaz. There's a slight hitch to it, which I'm sure a real Spanish speaker would pick up on right away. Do you think that's what well, the, the strange accent on the I does? Do you think that elongates it a bit? I'm not sure about elongate, but it definitely changes the position of the tongue in the mouth. Um, it's fascinating stuff, but yeah, I'm, I'm I'm satisfied that we've created not only a sensible sentence, but one that it's possible to actually learn uh, to say. Because written language very different to spoken language. Mm. Good stuff. Okay, um, I'm gonna go back to replay this game then, shall I? Because we don't want to yeah. type that one in, do we? Why not? No, we don't need to type that in. Um, I just want to say a few extra things about lingua memes is that uh, you can subscribe to a daily email which every day you will get um, a link to a different game so you and it's not just Sp it's Spanish you can choose Spanish but if you want to do anything else like French or German then we also have those languages and yeah, so every single day you'll get uh, a link sent and it'll go to a game. Hmm. No muss, no fuss. It might be this Just game. Straight in the inbox. It might be this sentence builder game. It might be a different game where it's multiple choice. It might be... Uh, I don't know. Um, or many of the other games that we've covered in other videos. So go yeah. check them out. And it's free, completely free. Ridiculous. It's Preposterous. Crazy. But true. But true. How do we afford it? I don't Loco know. even. I don't no, know. I don't know. I don't know. Um, yeah, so we uh, are completely free of commercial sponsorship, which is uh, it's also a nice thing, isn't it? Yeah, you don't really want the fantasy RPG banners on your website, do you? If it's no. you know, no. we're learning languages. Come on. <laughs> and it's a very nice to play along when you're having a cup of tea and a nice Marks and Spencer rich tea low fat biscuit. They are simply the best. A low-fat biscuit from Marks and Spencer, and they're sixty-seven pence a packet. Is that Probably. all? That's all. <laughs> what a dazzlingly arbitrary number! Absolutely delightful. 
tea's too wet without one. Oh god, help me, help me folks. Get me out of here. Um yeah, so we're completely without <laughs> commercial sponsorship and um that's not an offer. Uh, <laughs> no, that's not a request. You know, if if Maplins are, are watching this, <laughs> If staples are watching, will well, I, I did all that in the hope that Marks and Spencer might come along and say, hey. Well, do you know what, Danny? You've screwed it up because you've already made fun of women with husky voices. And if there's one company you don't want to do that to... Now, who's stereotyping now, then? So they're not just husky voice lady voiceovers. Who's stereotyping now, then? They're m s husky voice, voice over voices. Oh, I got you. Yeah, I got you. Yeah. Right, yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Come on, then. So, yeah. Um, there we go. Now, it kind of reminds me of um, Wayne's World. Do you, do you remember Wayne's World? Of course I remember Wayne's World. I've got the VHS right over there. And uh, <laughs> they do their product placements with the opening up the pizza box. and um, Of course. Which is so kind of funny because in a way you think, actually, I wonder if they genuinely were sp- sponsored by Pepsi and uh, the, that pizza company whatever it oh, was. Oh I'm sure. Yeah yeah yeah. I'm but sure. they but they turned the whole joke around for Yeah. Yeah. It, oh it's the power of irony, brother. Oh. I think nobody cares about anything but money anymore. And that's just sad. Yep. Good times. Can you tell? Nineties kids right here? Yeah. Where did where did you get that from? Was that Wayne's World or was that something? Oh like? it's Garth, yeah yeah. That's Wayne's World all the way. Oh, you can't believe you actually remembered the quote. Heck yeah. What do you think me and Claire do all day? We just quote Wayne's World at each other. Um, hey, weren't we supposed to be doing something? Yeah, well, I think we did it, but I mean, if you want to do it some more, let's do it some more. Oh, let's do one more just for the hell of it. Because it's, it's crazy, it's loco, because we're doing Spanish, we don't know what we're doing. Oh, should we try one of these, um, what I call breakout fields, that goes to a different type of conversation? Describing people, should I do that, describing people? Yeah, oh, at the bottom right there. there. Right. The breakout field. The top one is the woman, then the man, the boy, the girl, my sister. Let's go for the mid, uh, the second one. Okay. Yeah. El hombre. It is. It's amazing actually how much you realise you know when you look at a language you don't know. <laughs> Has. Should we do that? Has. Yeah. Uh, uh, twenty-one. We've got to find out where he's got twenty-one off. Yeah, that's it. This is a great... Mi- See, there's mystery in Lingua Memes. Action! Romance! <laughs> that was my Scooby-Doo mystery machine. That was good. Oh, kinda, I got it. And you had you down as the Daphne. I got it. Um, sassy. He is 21 years old. It's Gotta he, be, hasn't it? You had me down as Daphne. I did, yes. She's she's the dim one, isn't she? Well, no, Daphne's uh, she's underrated because in our postmodern society, everyone thinks they can jump on the Velma bandwagon and be very special for noticing how Velma does all the work. And it's true, she does do all the work. But Daphne brings an important um, sort of... She asks questions, I think is the way I'd put it. Because Velma has almost zero social capabilities. Daphne is much better at talking to people. She's much more gregarious than Velma. So Daphne, I think, would make a great interviewer. So you can, you know, like like Daphne, you're able to get to the crux of the matter while seeming quite unassuming. You're selling it well, but I... <laughs> yeah, no, I think people I think people are uh, being quite narrow-minded when they assume that Daphne and Fred are just, you know, off on a date while Velma's doing all the work and Shaggy and Scooby-Doo are just eating. No, I think they're really doing her a disservice. Uh, no, I just want to be Shaggy. <laughs> I don't, I don't want to be Daphne. You want to be snack huffing, um, late flipping seventies out of date hippie Shaggy or nineties reggae superstar Shaggy? Which one are we talking about, Mister Boombastic? Oh, he's not fantastic. No, um, no Shaggy <laughs> from Scooby Doo with the green yeah. T-shirt yeah. and the. You know he might have. Um, he might have been smoking funny cigarettes. <sighs> I don't think so. I mean, he's just he's just a bit out there, you know. Scooby Doo. That's all I'll say. I'll just Is leave it? it at that. Scooby. Yeah, he he can talk to a dog, and that's, that's he thinks he can. He can. 
He can talk to his dog. Anyone can talk to a dog, Danny. Yeah, well, he can talk to I can dog. talk to a dog. Let, let's get back to this Spanish. Um, oh, right. Sorry, yeah. The man has 21... Mm. What's that? Years. Years. Got to be annual. Come on, annuals. Right. Now, obviously, that means the man is 21 years mm. old. So, yeah... Are you okay. going to typing it in? And I'm gonna I'm gonna listen to it Auntie uh, Auntie Google's Spanish oh, yes, half sister. We have to learn the Spanish for Auntie so you can El hombre tiene veintiuno años. Años. Well, veintiuno, that's tricky. That's tricky for me. That pays for repeated listens. I am pressing it plenty of times. And yours. I think that's how it's said. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that... God, I really... I feel like it's... It's not a sedilla, but it's like a sort of... It's a similar sound. It's a similar thing. But it... Yeah, it's, it turns the N into a... N- I don't know how I know that. But I did already know that. Possibly from Il Nino. But all right, let's try. Yeah... There was, right there, there was a footballer with the nickname of El Nino. Um, oh, okay. There you go. Oh, who, was, who was he? He played for Liverpool. can't remember. I thought it was a good, nick, good nickname, that was. But I like, I like some of the other ones, like um, Chicharito. Yeah? Little P. Oh, that's sweet. He's, he's still playing, I think. Good for him. Chicharito. Is he not big uh, it's a good, yeah. good, good nickname. Um, okay, so that's Lingua Memes Sentence Builder, what we sometimes refer as Game 9. Mm. But you hate it when I give a game a number, don't you? I, folks, am one for words over numbers. I think if it's possible, if you've got mm. the choice, you go for a word. But I understand, you know, Danny's behind the curtain. He knows, you know, the numbers are important for references' sake. I understand. Okay, and so don't forget the typing in thing, so you can click that. Oh, it says click it, click to try the typing in challenge. Don't forget to use that. Don't forget the red speaker. Don't forget these information icons. Basically, um, click everything. Click everything like a th- just thrash around on the screen. That's why the background is black, so you don't get confused So with things that you can't click on. Should we have a quick look at plans and wishes. Just so we- Oh, there's only two of them there. I would like, and I want... What's the difference? I don't know. You see, there's only two, but like. of course, there will be more. Right, there it's got a third person singular on there. It's interesting. Right. It is interesting. Yeah, <laughs> so um, we'll have to find out more about that at, at another time, I think. Yeah. Thanks for joining us in this uh, wild ride into uh, Espanol. Yeah. We, uh, we weren't sure. We had to strap on the crash helmets for this one, let me tell you. Yeah, it was it was a bit of a white knuckle ride. Um and if you are Marks and Spencers and you have a few <sighs> spare biscuits, then just email me. You're begging that. now, you're you're begging. You can't email people biscuits. No, email me oh. and then I'll give them my address and they can send me the biscuits. Lest this turn into Radio Norwich. Radio Might North, North Norfolk. <laughs> Might I suggest bidding our viewers a fond farewell. Okay, thank you very much for watching. Imploring them to check out some more videos, but more importantly, give Lingua Memes a try. And let us know if it works, if it doesn't, or rather how well it works. Give you an ultimatum. Give it a like and a subscribe and all the rest of it, please. Yes, the address is. We, have, we haven't Sorry. got many yet. We've only just started. They have to tell us, though, at admin at linguamemes.com. That's the place. That's the one? You got that's the, the that's email. The, that's the email. Okay. Got Cheerio, it, everybody. Bye, folks.